Okay, so hi there everyone. We're now on our next video, the third video in the Vedic Mathematics Essential. So we're still in the in the talk about the second brother Dartes uh, math lecture series. And in this second part of the video, um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the bar numbers. Okay, so in Vedic Mathematics, um, bar numbers or vinculum digits offer a very handy tool to make light of arithmetic problems. Making use of this um, is an ingenious device with many, many uses. Okay, so what is the main advantage of using these bar numbers here? So they give us flexi flexibility. Okay, so we use them when it suits us. When it suits us. Um, the large numbers like 6, 7, 8, 9 can be avoided because we will be converting them into numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 and 1 occur twice as frequently as they otherwise would. So, you know, um, dealing with the small numbers will make the arithmetic um, easier compared to having numbers like 6 and up going to 9. Okay, so... Um, I'll give you one example here. So example, 29 can be replaced and written as 3 bar 1. Okay, that is 3 in the tenths place and minus 1 in the ones place. So we can say that um, 29 is equal to 3 bar 1 because 3 bar 1, take note, 3 is on the tenths place. So what, we're, what it looks like is that um, this is equal to 30 that's in the tenths place minus 1, so which will give us 29. What did we minus 1? Because that's what bar 1 means. Minus 1 from 30. Similarly, we can write this 388 can be replaced by 400, uh, 4 uh, bar 12. Why is that? Because 4 bar 12, okay, so 4 is in the hundreds place, so meaning this looks, this will become 400. 400 minus 12. What did, where did we get minus 12? Because this is bar 12, so meaning this is negative 12, which will give us 388. Okay, so this is 4. Um, we can use a sutra, by the way, in order to make this um, um, easier. We can make use of a sutra all from 9 to the last from 10. So 4 bar um, 12 is like 400 minus 12, so therefore this becomes 3, 8, Eight. So that's 388. So that's from using the sutra all from 9 to the last from 10. Um, note that in any number, any large digit can be replaced. So any large digit can be replaced. Um, we can write, uh, what is this? 3,872,281. So let's say we're going to replace all the numbers greater than 5 into bar digits. So what we're going to do is going to we're going to replace this 8 and 7 and then this 8 here into bar digits which will look like this. So we're going to add 3 to 3, um, to add 1 to 3 that becomes 4 and then we're going to make use all from 9 to the last from 10 since um, 8 is not the last number so and 7 is the last number which is greater than 5 so therefore we're going to it's going to become 13. And 8 here we're going to make 2 here before it 3 and then 8 is all from 9 to the last from 10 that's the last from 10 so meaning we're going to make use of 2. Okay. Now, let's have some examples, shall we? Um, examples. Convert the digits larger than 5 into bar numbers. So how do we convert this? So we have 9 as larger than 5, so we need to make this um, this 3. We add 1 to that, so that becomes 4. And then all from in the last from 10, last is 9 already. So that's 4 bar 1. Number 2, we have 48, so 8 is bigger than 5. So we add 1 to 4, that becomes 5. And then all from 9 in the last from 10, last from 10. So that's 5 bar 2. Number 3, we have 2, 9, 2. We have only the 9 in the middle to make it, um, you know, bar numbers. So we add 1 to 2, and then we have bar 1 here. And then we just copy off 2 after that in the 1's digit. So that's 3 bar 1, 2. And uh, we have 4,871. We have... 87 here so this becomes add 1 to that 5 all from 9 to the last from 10 so this is not the last number so it's going to be all from 9 so bar 1 and then last from 10 bar 3 so that's bar 13 or you can say 5 bar 1 bar 2 or simply 5 bar 13 1 so that's how we do it in 
in uh, bar numbers. And how about this? 3,999. Um, you may be tempted to say that it's um, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, 3 bar 1, 1, 1, 1. So, but take note, it's all from in the last from 10. So, the meaning this becomes add 1 to 3, that becomes 4. And then all from in the last from 10, How? what will you add to 9 to make it 9? So, it's already 9. So, hence, what we'll have is bar 0, bar 0, and 1. So, we're going to put bar on all of that. Okay, so we have 4, bar 0, 0, 1. All right. Okay, so let's have some exercises or examples more. So you can convert bar numbers likewise back into ordinary numbers. So for instance, um, 2 bar 1 can be written as, well, minus 1 to that, 19, right? Next, um, 6 bar 3, minus 1 to that, that's um, 50, all from 9, and the last from 10. So that's the last one, 57. Um, 200. 21. So how do we write 221 in uh, ordinary numbers? So we need to minus 1 here. That's 1 bar 8, 1. Oh, sorry. Not not with a bar 8. 1, 8, 1 rather. 1, 8, 1. There you go. 1, 8, 1. And then we'll have next number 4. So we have 4 bar 32 so we minus 1 to that that's that becomes 3 all from 9 and the last from 10 so this becomes 6 and then this becomes 8 the last from 10 three six eight. and number 5 what we have is 504 take note 4 is the only one with the, with the bar so we need to minus 1 from 50 minus 1 from 50 50 will give us 49 and then all from 9 and the last from 10 that's gonna give us 4 that's a 6 okay so we have 19, 57, 181, 368, and 496. So um, in the next video, we're going to have general case subtraction. We're going to make use of these bar numbers um, that we have learned today. You can pause the video and go back, rewind if you need more time to understand it. So let's get into it. Let's have now the general case subtraction. So with our knowledge in bar numbers and still making use of the sutra, all from the last from 10, Okay, we can now consider general case arithmetic subtraction. So example, so we have 7,312 minus 3,765. So what we're going to show here, this is a general case subtraction in which we're going to subtract any number um, from any number. And then we'll give us um, a straight method without the carrying. Um, that's with the help of Vedic mathematics. So how do we do this? So what we have is 7, uh, 3, 1, 2. Okay, 7312 minus uh, 3765. Um, sorry for my penmanship. So let's have that. So 7 minus 3 is 4. Now notice 3 minus 7, usually what we're going to do here is it cannot be, but it can be in in Vedic maths. We write 4 because we're going to flip it. 3 minus 7 is 4, bar 4 only. 1 minus 6 is cannot be, but this is going to be bar 5. Imagine 6 minus 1 is 5, but it's the opposite way. So we're going to use um, bar 5 instead, and then we have here bar 3. And then we make use of the method we have learned a while ago. So this becomes... 3, convert this to ordinary numbers, 3, all from 9, the last from 10. So this becomes a 5, all from 9. This becomes 4, the last from 10. This becomes 7. And this is your answer for number 1. Okay, so notice um, all the answers here are, are, are um, not, that, um, not that rigorous. As you can see, we just need the, the essence of 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 the all from nine and the last from ten, and the concept of bar numbers in order to 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 have this case of of subtraction, wherein it's now general. It's not anymore with the carrying and with the borrowing of digits. No more of that. Um, it's straight subtraction without any carries, and it's more cleaner, as you can see. So let's have this example. Next example. So we have um, nine o five. Minus 447. So let's do this. 9 minus 4 is 5. 0 minus 4 is cannot be. So that's bar 4. 5 minus 7 is bar 2. 
So this becomes, this is equal to uh, 4, 5 um, minus 42. That's going to give us all from and the last from 10, 4, 5, 8. Okay, that's correct. Number 2, so we have 64,332 minus 28,655. So let's have that um, 6, 4, 3, 3, 2 minus 2, 8, 6, 5, 5. So let's have the uh, subtraction. 6 minus 4, I'm sorry, the 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 8 is bar 4. 3 minus 6 is bar 3. 3 minus 5 is bar 2. And 2 minus 5 is bar 3. So let's convert this into an ordinary number. We're going to minus 1 from this. So we have 3, all from 9 to the last from 10. This becomes 5. This becomes 6. This becomes 7. And last from 10, this becomes 7. And this is our answer for number for this example. Okay, let's have more of this. Um, we'll have more examples here. So maybe you can pause the video and try to answer this. Or, you know, you can just have this timer here. So we have, let's do, let's do this. Okay. So for, don't forget the bar numbers. Make use of it. And then let's try to check your answers then. Okay. Pause the video and then answer. Okay. Here are our answers. Okay. So we have 51,324. Minus 18,745. So we can show it here. So 51,324 minus 18745. So let's have it. 5 minus 1 is 4. 1 minus 8 is uh, 7, bar 7. 3 minus 7 is uh, bar 4. 2 minus 4 is bar 2, and 4 minus 5 is bar 1. Convert that into an ordinary number. So what we have is 3 all from 9, um, 2, 5, 7, and the last from 10. That's going to give us 9. Okay, so pretty much the same with our number 1 example, with, our, with the answer. Number 2, so we have 8, 1, 1. Minus 3, 4, 5. So 3 minus 8 minus 3 is 5. 1 minus 4 is bar 3. 1 minus 5 is bar 4. Convert that into an ordinary number. So what we have is 4, all from 9, 6, last from 10, 6. So that's our answer. And number 3, lastly, so we have 76,004. Two three four two three uh minus uh two three five six seven. So how do we have that? So seven minus two is uh what five? Six minus three is uh three. This is a five by the way. Sorry. So 4 minus 5 is bar 1. We cannot have that. Um, six, uh, 2 minus 6 is bar 4. And 3 minus 7 is bar 4. So what do we have here? Um, 5 minus 1 to that. That becomes 5, 2. All from 9, we have 8, 5. And the last from 10, which is 6. So 5, 2, 8, 5, 6. So these are our answers for number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so in the next part, we're going to have the um, general case subtraction with number splitting. So let's have that right now. So with our knowledge with bar numbers and still making use of the same it's sutra, we're going to um, consider now number splitting. Uh, we can now consider the following general case subtraction with the use of um, this concept number splitting. So imagine now um, uh, we're going to have, oops, sorry, 908 minus 456. 
Now, what? how do we have that? So 9 minus 4 is 5. 0 minus 5 is bar 5. 8 minus 6 is 2. Notice the bar digits is in the middle. So we're going to split this number. That's why it's called number splitting into something like this. So this will give us 5 bar 5 is going to give us 4, all from 9 to the last from 10, 46, rather 45, sorry, 45. And then we copy off the 2. So we have 4, 5, 2 for our answer. So that's all from 9 and last from 10. So what will you add to 5 to make it 5? We'll have more examples for number splitting. So let's have this. Um, 8,393 minus 2865. So we have um, 8393 minus 2865. All right. No. Now, let's have it 8 minus 2 is 6, 3 minus 8 is uh, bar 5, um, 6 minus 3, 6 minus, uh, rather, 9 minus 6 is 3, and 3 minus 5 is bar 2. So let's make use of the number splitting, or the, yeah, the number splitting, we're going to split it here. So 6 bar 5 is uh, 5 bar 5, or rather, 5, 55, and then 3 bar 2 is going to give, give us 28. So this is our answer for um, number, for the second example. Um, let's have more examples here. 64,935 minus 38,658. So 64,935 minus 38,657. So 6 minus 3 is 3, 4 minus 8 is bar 4, um, 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 minus 5 is bar 2, 5 minus 7 is also bar 2. Now let's convert this into an ordinary number. What do we have, um, we're going to number split it somewhere here. So 3 bar 4 is 2 bar 6, 9 last from 10, and then 3... Let's be, this is going to become 2, and then all from 9 to the last from 10. What will you add to 2 to make it 9? That's 7. What will you add to 8 to make it 10? That's 8. Rather, uh, what will you add to 2 to make it 10, rather? So that's 8. Okay. okay there. So, um, excuse, excuse me, penmanship. So we have 26,278. Okay, that's our answer for um, the second example. Okay, let's face more examples even so that we can practice this general case subtraction. Take note that you can subtract any number from any number right now without um, borrowing anything. So let's have this number three, um, or number four rather, eight. That we have is eight, three, four, five, minus six, nine, three, eight. Okay, so we have 8 minus 6 is 2, um, 3 minus 9 is bar 6, 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 8 is bar 3. So convert this into an ordinary number, have the split. Um, it's not necessary that you're going to draw a split or a, you're going to do something that, that shows that there's a split here. Um, it's just okay that for you to know that or imagine that there, there is a split somewhere here. When you're going to apply the... Um, the all from 9 and the last from 10, convert the sutras in both of these parts of, of these numbers. So 26 becomes um, 1 bar 1, 4. And then 13, or rather 1 bar 3, becomes 0, um, 7. Since that's the last number. So the answer is 1, 4, 0, 7. Um, let me fix that. One four. Zero seven. Okay. Um last example, number example um five. So we have six eighty four minus three three six. Oh, what do we have? Six minus three is three, five minus three is rather eight minus three is five, and four minus six is a bar two. We're going to convert this into ordinary numbers. So we have 3, 
minus 1 from that, that becomes 3, 4, and then bar, another not bar, 8. So 3, 4, 8, and 1, 4, 0, oh, 7 here. Okay, so that's as far as the general case subtraction with number splitting is concerned. So it's your, your time to shine. We have here exercise number three and perform the indi indicated operation using um, the concepts we, that we have um, learned here. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to work on that. You may pause the video if you're watching this in YouTube. Um, should be a number two right now. Okay, should be, um, well ending number two and then starting with number three okay we have uh, 12 seconds left um you're on number four now right okay you should be on number four and starting with number five right now four three and you're done with number five now okay and these are the answers for our exercise okay um leave a comment below if you see that there are some errors in the in the answers but i believe there's none Okay, so we have number one, check your answers. If it is 12,634, you are correct. Number two, if it's if your answer is 484, that is correct. Number three, it's if it's 48,265, that's correct. For number four, if it's 39,037, that is correct. And for number five, if it's 58,044, that is correct. Okay, so um, if ever you have some questions or something that is um buckling you um today um you can always watch and rewatch this video and uh, just try to rewind the parts that is not clear to you guys and then um in the next video i'm going to stop it here um in the next video we're going to talk about some special case multiplication that is when we multiply um factors by nine 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 okay so stay tuned um please be with me with the whole um lecture and thank you very much for watching okay see you soon